Like, can you get the camera off of us? Kirk, 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 y'all. Quick, grab me on. No, you. Hey, Kirk. I don't know. Fuck, Arden, don't touch me. Can you get the camera off of us? Can you can you get the camera off of us? Breaking news at 11, a CBS 4 News crew attacked. They were gathering information on a story in Miami Beach, but what happened next took a dangerous turn, and it was caught on our camera. Our crew was doing a story about efforts to cut down on the crime and chaos on South Beach when they witnessed a fight. And as CBS 4's Bo Beth Yates and her photographer were gathering details on the story, they encountered more than they expected. She joins us live right now from Miami Beach with what happened. And first of all, Bo Beth, are you and Ebenezer, our photographer, okay? Yes, Elliot, we're actually doing fine. Uh, it's just really shaken up, to be honest. I've been reporting for a very long time. Uh, I don't want to date myself, but about 20 years, and I've never been attacked like this um, on a story. The ironic part about it, as you mentioned, is that we were actually covering crime on South Beach, and normally we'd walk up and down the strip trying to interact with people getting interviews, but in this instance, they came to us. You a snitch. Get out my face. Just before 9 p.m., my cameraman and I were attacked. The incident occurred after we captured a portion of a fight between two groups. Then their attention turned to us. Bro, watch out with this camera, bro. bro. Break bro. Ironically, we were in the process of covering a story about unruly behavior on the beach. And in Entertainment only district has given us something we just can't control. Wednesday, Miami Beach commissioners voted four to three to move up the last call for alcohol from 5 a.m. to 2 as part of the effort to decrease crime and unruly behavior. I think 75 percent of all crime in our city is south of Dave Boulevard. And if you then look closer than that, you'll see that the top five locations tend to be in literally the middle of this area from 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th on Collins. And on ocean. The change will create a 2 a.m. last call for restaurants, bars, and clubs south of 16th Street on Collins Avenue and Ocean Drive starting May 22nd and running to December 8th. But critics of the bill says it targets some restaurants and not others, especially since it does not include Washington Avenue. It just doesn't make sense because the, the, the mango certainly is not responsible for the crime in the streets and Last year we were closed for, for we were closed for 14 months, but others were closed for even for eight months, and crime soared in the streets. And David Wallach, the owner of Mangoes, says the effort will damage business and force many locations on the beach to shut down. And he plans to take it to court. And it just doesn't make sense to blame then the clubs, where it's 15 or 20 dollars for a drink, for what's going on in the streets, and. It just makes more sense uh, to, for me to, to think that it's a developer's scheme. And our attack happened well before 2 a.m. I'm just asking you respectfully. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Okay, I'm just asking you respectfully. Look out! I'm going and we're turning it out. I'm not trying to gang up. I'm going to do it first. Can you get the camera off of us? Kirk, Kirk, Kirk. Y'all. Quick, grab me on. No, you. Hey, Kirk. Fuck. All right, don't touch me. Can you get the camera off of us? Can you get the camera off of us? Again, that ha uh, attack happened just around 9 o'clock again, well before 2 a.m. Now, we're told that the two of the people involved in that incident has been arrested. They've been charged with criminal mischief and battery. They're still looking for the other ones involved. And we're also told that, again, Wallach plans to fight the actual 2 a.m. new set back time for the um, drinking. Um, he's going to take that to court. Uh, live in Miami Beach, Bo Beth Yates, CBS 4 News tonight. And Bo Beth, glad to hear that both you and Ebenezer are okay right now. But did these people actually hit you or Ebenezer? Yes, both. Um, the first hit came when uh, we tried to kind of block the camera and I kind of stood in between everything because they started really coming on to Ebenezer and attacking him. And at one point, maybe four or five people surrounded him. At that point, I kind of got involved and tried to push them back. Um, they kind of hit me, then went over my head and to attack Ebenezer and the camera. Well, Beth, real quick, then, I mean, that's I expensive. That's they expensive equipment. Threw... Go ahead. 
Um, yes, they also threw a bottle of liquid, what I believe is some sort of alcohol, because it was literally burning our skin, um, my eyes, um, after, uh, at, at some point in that whole process. Um, yes, and the camera is very expensive. Yeah. Um, we're told that it um, has some damage. I don't know to the extent of the damage, um, but, um, of course, our engineers will look at that tomorrow and see exactly what what damage it is. Okay, we, we are glad that both you and Ebenezer Menza, photographer, are okay. Bobette, thank you so much.